As Christian hurried back, he carefully avoided speaking to anybody he met on the road. He was like one treading on forbidden ground, not feeling safe until he was back on the right way. When Christian arrived at the narrow gate, he saw written above it the words, Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. So he went up and knocked. At last, a solemn man named Goodwill opened the gate and asked, Who are you? Where did you come from? What do you want? Christian answered, I am a poor burdened sinner from the city of destruction. I am going to Mount Zion that I may be delivered from the wrath to come. Then Goodwill quickly pulled Christian inside. Why did you do that? asked Christian. A little distance from this gate is the devil's castle, said Goodwill. He watches all those who come here and shoots arrows at them. Some unfortunate people are killed by his arrows and never get inside. Then said Christian, I rejoice and tremble. Who directed you here? asked Goodwill. Then Christian described all that had happened on the way. Goodwill listened attentively and then said, Come over here with me and I will show you the next road you must take. Look before you. Do you see that straight road? That is the way you must go. It was built by the prophets of old and by Christ and his disciples. On either side, there are many winding paths that are crooked and wide. Only the right road is straight and narrow. Follow it and you will come to the interpreter's house. Knock at his door and he will show you many wonderful things. Christian set out to walk the straight road. When he reached the interpreter's house, he knocked again and again. At last, someone came and asked, Who are you? I would speak to the master of the house, Christian replied. When the interpreter appeared, Christian explained that Goodwill had sent him. Then said the interpreter, Come in, and I will show you much that will be profitable to you. Bidding his servant light a candle, he took Christian into a private room. Here, he saw the picture of a very serious person standing as if to plead with men. His eyes were lifted to heaven and he had the best of books in his hand. On his head was a crown of gold and the world was behind him. This man, the interpreter explained, can transform people and cause them to be born again. The world behind his back and the crown on his head show that he who despises the things of this world may enjoy the blessings of heaven. The interpreter next took Christian into a large hall that was full of dust because it had never been swept. After they had looked at it for a moment, the interpreter called for a man to sweep. As he swept, the dust rose in such clouds that Christian was almost choked. The interpreter then told the maiden who stood by, bring water and sprinkle the room. The room was then swept clean. What does this mean? asked Christian. The interpreter answered, This hall is the heart of man. The dust is the sin that has defiled him. He that began to sweep at first is the law. She that brought water and sprinkled it is the gospel. The law, instead of cleansing the heart from sin, only revives and increases sin in the soul. But when the sweet and precious influences of the gospel come in, sin is vanquished and the soul made clean and fit for the King of Glory to inhabit. In my dream, I saw the interpreter take Christian by the hand and lead him into another little room. room, room.